This week on Throne Chronicles, we update you on the new HQ, pick out a pumpkin, and head to Cleveland. Just got my lunch and I'm gonna head over to the new place to uh, check out some stuff and take some measurements and try and figure out the internet situation and how we're going to network the house um, through all the floors because there's four. It's gonna be kind of a nightmare and hopefully there'll be a simple solution. But I think I might eat my lunch at the new place just to uh, kind of relax and have a few minutes to chill out. Should be nice. A little lunch on the roof today. I'm stressed lately with uh, everything that's going on and uh, already feeling a little worn out this Monday, so. Figured I'd come here, kind of wrap up a few things and take a good like 12 minutes to myself and have some lunch and then get back at it. Uh, so far it feels pretty good. Done with lunch, gonna go measure the master bedroom and my office to try and figure that out. And good news is, is the whole thing is wired for ethernet. It's like Cat E6 cable, uh, which is amazing. Um, it wasn't there last time, if it was, it was tucked behind something, so now it's there. And that means the whole house is gonna have really, really, really fast, awesome internet. And there she is. So, electric, ethernet, cable. So, probably put the TV and the router for upstairs here, or maybe in the middle room, so uh, it's nice, omnipresent internet. Uh, so this is the master bedroom, and I now have to measure it. This is our awesome little Juliet balcony that overlooks the backyard. Uh, we just had it painted to a white diamond flat. It's got the trim, and then it's got the beautiful floors, which you can kind of see right here. They need another coat, and that's why they're covered. Taking measurements of the offices to figure out furniture and whatnot. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Did. All of the tread and that nice thick marble looks great. People always stop when they're checking out the house. <laughs> Waving. The neighborhood's pretty awesome. It's kind of old, older Brooklyn. But um, I like that. That's how my neighborhood used to be until it got crazy, crazy modern. Alright, so here's the front entrance so far. Beautiful stairs. These just all need to be stained, and then we're going to oxidize these. That's kind of the color it's all going to be. Chandelier. Fireplace I designed is getting a marble top to it. Just going to be nice. We're building out a TV center over there. A little alcove. That was awesome. You can really see uh, it start taking on the identity and kind of all the design decisions that even I've made. Um, happening. It is just such an awesome feeling. Very excited. So I have a few more weeks to do, uh, or weeks to go, but we'll get there. And it's coming along. They're they're really, I was worried that they weren't going to be able to finish in time, and it looks like they're going to. Uh, they're really working on it. Still got some stuff, as always, but the list I put together for them, I think it's really helping. And uh, I cannot wait to show Eve the progress later this week. Heading now back to the studio to get the actual work done for the day, not the bonus work, along with the house. Um, and I just released the final, or not the final, but the last one I had prepared, throne room, and I can't wait to see what everyone thinks of that. Mac and I are heading to the whistle. Uh, and we're petting board in there, because why not? And I got, I got like white and yellow, and he's got yellow and white. Pretty dope. We turn left. Oh god, turn left, turn left, turn left. Turn left. human walking is so unevolved. We're at the whistle. Oh, where are you? Chilling. Oh, there he is. What's going on? Hi. I don't have enough hands. Can you go backwards on this? You can. Where is Chronicles? Oh my god, stop. <laughs> are you editing so fast right now? 
Yeah. <laughs> I went to high school with him. And you didn't he know he was He played baseball at Duke after he played baseball at Penn. <laughs> So we're at Bloom, our friend goes to salon, because I need a haircut for this weekend, the red event, red carpet event, he's hair, on point as always. Um, so, doing that, pretty tired after this meeting, but it was good. Doing this and then going home and watching Pinky Blinders, hmm? get some food. The horsey. Haircut's all done. Clarissa did an amazing job. I got really, 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 really expensive shampoo, but it's glorious and it's the only thing I really spend money on besides shoes and camera gear and lacrosse stuff and cheap stuff. So that's fine. What do you guys think? I like it. That jacket. I'm really excited. Joe's getting that jacket. I'm getting, I'm getting that jacket for you, apparently. Very successful shopping trip as usual with us. You've got an amazing jacket, and I got some uh, wax coated jeans that I've kind of been wanting, and they look pretty, they look pretty good. Hurry up. Uh, Alright, now back to Brooklyn. used all the toilet paper and then didn't let me know we needed more so now I'm forcing him to go and he's outside the window I feel like I'm on the wire on this way you want to go okay. <laughs> go get me toilet paper now that was successful <laughs> what's in the bag let me see it No, let, let me, nope, let me inspect the goods first. Let me inspect. <laughs> you dare touch that door. We good, we good. We good. Bad gray, what did you say? Hey, I forgot to say. I got the new Under Armour camo joints on. Not gonna lie. I feel pretty good right now. It's amateur hour. Blowing it up. Clearly. Did your mom buy your socks still? Is that the issue? I think I just have a lot of, I mean, at one point they were cool, you know? They weren't cool or were cool? I, they were not. Yeah, if you were K-Swisses, you got those K-1s in no, red and I, blue? I mean, like, you gotta have the socks before you have the shoes, you know? I never rocked K-Swiss. I was a classic guy. So you, you don't shop at Kmart like he does? I don't, I never rocked K-Swiss ever in my entire life. Cleveland. 
7.30 in the morning. My knee hurts. And we're in So when you come to Cleveland and you want to get a good bite to eat, this is what the good bite to eat looks like. You can get Froyo, new glasses, some beaded necklaces, and breakfast. This is the place to be. As my mother would say, it's hopping. Cookie dough? Yeah. Yogurt honey peanut? Yeah. Caramel nut black? Hell yeah. Where's that? I got that one, right? No, I saw the peanut butter. There we go. Jackpot. 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 Hi. Hello. Just realized we haven't bought a pumpkin yet, so we're gonna buy one for my mom. I'm always worried of buying pumpkins because there's like no pricing. And then you go up there and they're like, $29, you're like, it's a pumpkin. You don't even need it. They're all pretty big. I can't you, carry See if you can lift one. one. <laughs> Just see if you can lift it. Nope. Come on, deadlift, let's do it. This one's actually really, that's a quite a specimen. <laughs> oh God, world's strongest woman you are not. All right, let's just pick one up. How do you buy it? You gotta carry the pumpkin in? Oh, you're still pumping. Right. Really? We're bailing on the pumpkin. Seriously? I can't carry any of this. I'll carry it. I'm not asking you to carry it, I'm asking you to pick one out. $7.89. You're looking for something? Trouble? It's a nice one. Yeah, she was saying there's no good one. I'm in the rough right there. I outdid myself on that pumpkin. Lake. Mom, you can't play this music on my video, it's trademarked. Um, might you wanna, couldn't differ from his. Oh, might I hope you guys can get out. out before. Oh, oh Peter. Uh. Dun, 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 pumpkin cam. Pumpkin can, Harley Davidson pumpkin can. Where's it going? Get my CrossFit on right now, Mom. Ugh. Would you? Someone needs to paint this PVC pipe in the ground. There we go. I outdid myself. Martha Stewart, eat your heart out. Did you see this pumpkin, Eve? Did you look? Currently in what's my bedroom at my parents' house, but not really. They just kind of do whatever they want here, but we have an amazing view of Lake Erie, and there's Canada. Canada's like right there. I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep before we head to these benefit things. We have like three to do today, and not looking forward to any of it. I'll take you over to see the LeBron mural. They're putting the really big one up, the Nike one up today. There'll be no filming inside the show. Hi. Okay. I don't have any cameras on me. <laughs> Got no cameras on me whatsoever. Who's this? One of the... That's Chip. Oh, Chip and Dale. Look at your face. <laughs> well, I can take these out. Look at that haircut. God. Yeah, it, it, it is kind of bad. 
You love guns. It's like you scared me. <laughs> well, here, wait, but the Dumbo one is my favorite. No. He wouldn't get off the ride. <laughs> Remember, you wrote it like 17 times in a row. This is cute of you two. This must have been St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> or something. Batman. This and is exactly ninja. how he always was. Batman. Ninja. Yeah. Jeep. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Are you excited? What? Mom won't start? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get the old bike out. It's a beautiful day. Let's see if we can get started. My stepbrother has the jumper cables, which means we can't jump the bike. Metaphor for my entire childhood. Extra sad face. Go. Three, two, one. All right, headed into Mally's. This is like some OG Cleveland stuff right here. They make chocolate, and they have a really cool thing in here that I know he's gonna love, so let's do this. This is a carousel that turns very, 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 very slowly. What do we get? Get some bars. Cheers. Are we happy? Miley's candy. Oh, so the carousel was broken, by the way. That was my dad's first Jeep. Not really a Jeep, but kind of. Um, the carousel was broken, kind of sad about that, not gonna lie. But uh, we got some delicious chocolates, and now we're gonna head to probably one of my favorite places growing up where we used to chill and do irresponsible things that were fun. We made it. So we are in the woods where we used to hang out. This is actually the old bridge that we used to go across. And we'd hang out here because you could see the road, everybody coming, nobody would sneak up on you. And then this goes down to the water, and then the lake is over there. Spend a lot of time hanging out. So here's the creek. I believe it's part of the Rocky River. And we always wanted to build a jump coming down that hill. We made like a little exit there. We had an idea of building down and then a ramp to try and jump the water. And uh, Many people told us it couldn't be done, and I was one of those people that agreed with them, but we always thought about doing it, or at least trying to make it. Probably would have died. At least lost an arm. We're going to the ballet right now, and we found out yesterday that Cleveland has the largest outdoor chandelier. Because if you didn't think Cleveland was trashy, now we have the largest outdoor chandelier. Well done, Cleveland. Not a giant waste of money at all. By any means. <laughs> By any means. Now he's playing Batman. That guy wins. Look at him. Clearly they were all told to do So I called Mike. We're with the old people. Just parked the car heading to one of my favorite spots in Cleveland called VTR Velvet Tango Rooms. It's a really cool old jazz uh, drink joint that is just so, so cool. All right, here is my 1980 BMW R65 that I built when I was a teenager. And I absolutely love it, but since I live in New York City, it's hard to have a bike like this because you can pick it up and run it away. And I uh, got the battery charger on. Probably got some starting fluid. Let's see if we can get it started. Got the gas on reserve. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. 
And Eve's here to, to witness. She's never seen it run. Right now, we are in the attic. Uh, my mom asked me to come up here and see if she could throw away all the crap from my childhood. And I was like, yeah, for sure. Let me look through it quick. So, so far, we have a shorty's first aid kit that has a bunch of bearings and whatnot. That is awesome. We got a little bearing shield there completely destroyed. Don't know why I kept that, but I'm gonna bring that to Brooklyn for our little penny boards. We got a little old school skate tool, a Unity skate tool. Found my first lacrosse helmet ever. I can't believe my mom is surprised when I got concussions. So we got that. And it all came out of this box over here. He's gonna give some light. I don't know what we're gonna look into this. Oh, and I found this too. This is actually pretty cool. This, I'm bringing this back for Al. Here's all my little paintball, like, bearings and seals and um, bolt. But in here is something pretty good. Way down here we got some hockey skates. We got some just randomness, but this is what I'm most interested in. And if this is what I think it is, I haven't seen it in like 15 years. Let's get my Indiana Jones head out of here. Don't need that. Alright, so we got a little bass on the front. And we open it up. It is exactly what I thought it was. This was my stringing kit when I was like in 7th and 8th grade. Wow, this is amazing. So this is all like old school Gemalax, like or from STX kits that I kept. We have a pair of scissors, still sharp. We have a whole cross lace spool, and I cut it down to fit in here. I remember doing this at school. And I hid the lighter in the bottom because we don't want to have lighters at school. And over here we have some old old school shooters, really really old school. We got some. This is a 15 mil hard mesh. Hard, every time I touch hard mesh, now I laugh. We got three pieces of that. And here we go, this is the good stuff. We got some of the old school Gym Lags ball stops still in here. So this box is from like 03. So it's it's pretty old. And then, oh, and back here we have a, a Warrior goalie ball stop chilling. So that's pretty cool. I'll make a new one of these. But um, yeah, as soon as I saw that box, I had a feeling I knew what it was, but this cross lace is still good. It's not even yellow. That's usable. And then we got, those are dividers for little things. It's all nicely organized. We made good money in school doing this. I'm gonna hide the lighter underneath the cross lace. That's the trick. But um, yeah, I just wanna show that. Thing. Definitely cool, cool find. Here's me with the Stanley Cup and some other guys. Here was my first vehicle. It was like a 1972 Honda three-wheeler, like a 185S or something like that. And in the back is my dad's Harley, one of my favorite vehicles of all time. This was at our house that my dad built. Here's me uh, playing hockey, I think freshman year. Um, this was like the starting line, the big line, and I was the center, so I'm right, right in the middle, number 16. Pretty cool. Got a, got a synergy stick. You're old, you play hockey, you know how dope those were. Sweet, what is this? Here is an official scorecard from Cleveland High School Hockey. Why did I, why do I have this? Scoring. Oh, I had, I had, I had the two game winning goals. I had the tying and the winning. We won 4-3 in overtime. So I had the overtime goal and the, uh, and both of them are from number nine, who is TJ, who is right there. So these two definitely go together. You're blowing out my face. So cute. I'm taking that. 
Be sure to subscribe to Throne the Cross not to miss any Throne Chronicles. And in the comments below, let us know your favorite part of my trip home.